Hello, everyone. Welcome back to uh, 2021 to 2022 fall semester at Juniper Christian School. We welcome everyone in the name of Jesus Christ. And we are really excited to start fall semester uh, with you guys. Um, before we uh, start the, uh, this semester, uh, we're going to have a devotion together, about 15 minutes. So please, I would like to ask you to uh, pay attention and then concentrate on the message that uh, we, what God will speak to us today. Um, everyone, we watched a lot of sports games last few weeks. Uh, Tokyo 2021, actually, 2000, supposed to be held in Tokyo uh, last year, 2020, but COVID-19 situation is uh, you know, being delayed, everything, and uh, we started uh, this Olympic Games uh, this year, and the uh, last two uh, weeks, about 15 days, we had uh, the fun and also you know, enjoy watching a lot of you know national team uh, sports, the athletic the people, their uh, professional athletic skills and performances, and also teamwork, and a lot of you know individual skills. You know we watch it. Uh, one of the uh, actually sports that we watched, and a lot of South Korean people they really enjoy it. Uh, also appreciate you know, our national team. I mean, the, everyone's good job, and then we give them big you know hands. So it's like really memorable season Olympic game in in the midst of the uh, COVID-19 especially the women's uh, the volleyball game was a really exciting game a lot of people especially Korean people they watch it and then uh, you know post a lot of good compliment message and comments on the uh, YouTube and the online and then the when they you know come back to Korea the you know um, the airport a lot of people, crowd people, they uh, welcome, you know, have back, have them back uh, to South Korea. One of the team members, uh, this is actually a picture is the a semi, you know, final game, you know, with the versus actually Serbia, uh, the Serbia in Korean the pronunciation. Uh, this one, this game actually we lost the game, and but but you know. Everyone watching the, their spirit, team spirit, and their best performance, and also they really appreciate each member, their spirit, and the, the best you know performance and the teamwork, and the leadership as well. Uh, one of the team uh, the members, captain, is a Kim Yeon Kyung, as you know that Yeon Kyung Kim. Uh, she's uh, about to uh, retire. A national team, uh, the members, and uh, not anymore. But she continually um, uh, working on her career uh, in the China after this Olympic game. I watched actually the, her uh, the performance and her leadership, influence, and also the her uh, lot of smiles on her face, like motivate, inspired her team members in the uh, the games, even their loss. There won a lot of emotional, the mixed feelings in that season, this you know, situation. She continually tried to influence positive virus actually uh, to the, uh, her team members as a captain. Uh, I watched, I mean, actually, I uh, read the, her biography, and then the meaningful numbers about four, three, four. That's the uh, meaningful numbers, what I found out. Number four, is uh, this one. She started uh, the volleyball uh, when she was fourth grade, the elementary school. She followed her older sister to the uh, school and somehow she got inspired by her older sister and then she confessed that, I wanna be like my older sister and I wanna sport, uh, start the volleyball uh, as a uh, fourth grader. She was kind of a little bit younger and then she was not that tall physically and she joined the team, but is not uh, the main members, but like, you know, just substitutes. And then she was uh, trying to put her name on the roster and uh, waiting on the bench. But one day she got the chance and then she joined the game and then the coach and a lot of team members watch her potential. And uh, she joined and then, you know, as long as she grew up, especially high school age, she, uh, her height, the physical you know, height is like 
tall. You know, it's like from 19, uh, 170 uh, centimeter to 119 centimeter. It's about 20 centimeter to grow up the, you know, during the uh, high school age. As uh, so she almost, her height is almost same as mine, so 190. If you, if you believe, uh, then I'll give you a good job. But, uh, um, and then the, uh, another the meaningful word is about three, number three. Number three means uh, she joined a lot of competition, you know, games, global games, domestic games, like professional league, a lot of games she joined, but she, you know, got injured, but especially in knees and surgery about you know, three times she got. And then after uh, the surgery, the operation, uh, recovery, you know, the time, she trying to uh, remind herself and not losing her confidence. And then all the time she remi remember how she started, and then what was the uh, challenge she went and faced and then trying to get overcome. The third time's operation, but uh, she got overcome. And then four countries she played, and then as a professional, the volleyball, you know, athletic. Korea, and then one of the countries, uh, Turkey, Japan, Italy, it's like, you know, four countries she play, and then now China, then she's moving to the China, and then she playing right now. I'm sorry, the not Italy, but China, she play, and then came back to Korea, now return back to China again. Once again, four, Fourth grader, she started, and the third time, you know, injuries she got, but like, you know, after overcoming, and then she played the, uh, you know, volleyball as a professional athletic in the four countries. It's like first step, you know, when she started, she got inspired by her sister and the family members and the coach, a lot of mentors, professional actually coach in friends, colleagues. Her friends and then a lot of team members encouraged her to get continue her, it is called professional career as a volleyball, you know, professional team player. You know, when we are read uh, collection chapter 1, 13 to 17, first step, we could see this meaningful, the word uh, in the actually per, Apostle Paul's life. As you know that Paul, his name used to be called as Saul. It means a little person. I'm sorry, the, the bigger person. It's like more the you know, great person. But when, she, when he had met Jesus Christ, uh, and then he became under the name, it is called the Paul. It means a little, which means a little person in the name of Jesus Christ. What does it mean? Great means more the selfishness or arrogance. But a small, little means humility and the more meaningful, humble servant in the name of Christ. Paul became a humble servant in the name of Christ after he met Jesus Christ. Colossians chapter 1, 13 to 17. I'm not going to read this entire chapter and the verse. But the meaningful word is this one. What he confessed that before he met Jesus Christ, he was arrogant. He was so proud of himself about his background as a Jewish, as an educated person, as a Pharisee, as a, you know, also a faithful person. He believed a lot of people respect and honor. And then based on his faith, with his faith and also belief, he tried to kill, persecute, lot of Christians and Jesus followers and on the way to it is called Damascus It's like the town a lot of Christian people escape and then they gather together he heard and then trying to persecute which means kill and then grab and capture them to the put into the uh, jail that is his mission is on the way to go there but on the way Jesus Christ came to his life and then he met Jesus Christ. He confessed all the sins. And before he started ministry, what he uh, confessed, Colossians chapter 1, 13 to 17, especially chapter uh, 17 said this one. I didn't 
go up to Jerusalem to see those who were, were the apostles before I was. But I went into Arabia. Arabia, later I returned to Damascus. So what the Bible said, he was supposed to go to Jerusalem to see his followers and the colleagues, a lot of apostles, which means his team members. About what? His ministry, which means uh, preaching the gospel, helping the, you know, the poor, and then sharing the, the love of Jesus Christ, and then tell them, proclaim Jesus Christ as Savior in the name of Christ, I mean, the, in the world. So that is the ministry he's, he's supposed to start after conversion, after meeting with Jesus Christ. But the Bible said he didn't go to Jerusalem. Where did he did go? He went to it is called Arabia. The Arabia is what? It's definitely a desert. Nothing, like, you know, not much, not many people, and not much to do. It's like something. And then, about the Bible said, three years he stayed there. And three years he spent a lot of time with Jesus Christ. And then he returned to Damascus, which means a town, a lot of disciples, Jesus followers. And gathering together and then you know be there and then equip himself and then build up the fellowship and then go to the mission tree about third times about 40 years he dedicated himself his life for jesus christ about the uh, you know his 40 years journey and three years ministry devotion and first step in where arabia it's really, really uh, give us a lot of message, a meaningful message. First one is this one, review, which, is, which means uh, repentance. Paul, he spent three years in Arabia, and then first probably confession that he uh, mentioned to Jesus Christ is this one, Lord, please forgive me. I was a sinful person. Why? Because I was so arrogant. I was so you know, selfish. I was so person, the stubborn attitude, the mind, and also, you know, the, in the belief that no one, you know, controlled my, me, and then I was the person trying to kill the person, a lot of people. During the three years in Arabia, a lot of, you know, the meanings, I mean, the, the minds, the thinkings, even the, uh, you know, a lot of the, the pictures, the, you know, the memory pictures he had, and then what he uh, confessed is called the, the review, what he did for Jesus Christ, what he did for God. So com communally, I mean, the, Im immediately, he uh, con confessed his sin. Second, during the three years in Arabia, what he did that uh, definitely he prayed. He spent a lot of time praying, praying about you know, God's message, praying about you know, his plan, praying about his calling and his, you know, want to listen to God's voice. And God, he came to his life again. And Jesus and they encouraged his life as, you know, faith. And then cleans all the sins. It becomes what? Renewal. Renewal per person. And renewal humble servant in Arabia about three years devotion life. Last one is one. Purpose. And the calling of God after confession, repentance, and the listen to God through the prayers, he found out new purpose his life. The purpose of life, which means what? Dedication and calling from God as a servant of Jesus Christ. Servant of God as what? As his son, you know, definitely apostle, one of apostles who spent must first number one is what is God in, in his life so calling of God after receiving which is a new perspective new life he found out which means all the you know his the knowledge what he had in the from the, the from the past is what not meaningful a new beginning you know he found out in the name of Christ so it's like Jesus Christ is the number one and then the cross of Jesus is this number one. He spent, he works, you know, for Jesus Christ entire his life. That's why he spent about 40 years, next 40 years, you know, the mission trips and a lot of sharing this gospel. And uh, he 
die for Jesus Christ right in front of the Nero emperor in, in the, the actually the um, the Roman Empire the you know emperor so after his um, you know sacrifice and devotion commitment which means like the purpose of life it changed today's Christianity he wrote down about more than 50 percent is like New Testament the book you know books Paul's in Arabia about three years first step once again he could have you know um, visited went to the uh, Jerusalem the, before he started first step he could start in Jerusalem with the a lot of apostles you know the, 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 the disciples Jesus disciple followers but he didn't first step where in Ara Arabia and changed his life and met Jesus Christ and confessed his sin and then God there uh, received the calling of God which is the purpose of life let me uh, give you the chance the moment you and I we could think of this semester we are about to start this, this semester fall actually semester 2021 2022 a lot of people South Korean even in the world a lot of people actually they are really really panicked about COVID-19 it takes them about more than once again like almost two years we're really tired and maybe a lot of people it's kind of negative and skeptical to say that it may continue next year too and a lot of the public school even the other the public companies and the comp a lot of people that you know still like you know a lot of people cannot get get together it's not everything's online still you know maybe not off you know in person a lot of negative words they exchange like you know they also see that forecast but you and I we as a the followers of Jesus Christ once again before we start fall semester first step what kind of first step you and I we're gonna make it first step what kind of first step we're gonna confess first step what kind of faith we're gonna have in the name of Jesus Christ as you read in the Paul's, you know, the, especially the uh, Colossians chapter 1, and then what we learn from his life, this one, first, review before we start this semester. What we, what we learn, what I learned from the past semester and lot years. Some of them, many, many years you guys have been here. Some of them maybe brand new semester, brand new year you guys have. Then as a first comer, New, new student and returning students a lot of students even teachers staff members parents we are about to start half first step in the name of Christ this semester then what do you set that out what we learned in the past and a lot of lessons probably we're gonna have maybe not to do what not to do in this semester not repeat maybe you have to repeat second thing is this one prayer we keep saying that uh, we have to pray, but like definitely Paul, three years in Arabia, the Arabia is what? It's like more sincere prayers. He did it, he made it. And God's voice, he heard. God's spirit came. Listen to God's voice. During this semester, before we start this semester, we need to pray. God, please speak to us as an actual student, as a teacher, as a parent, as a community, Christian community, what we have to do this semester. Every single semester, even the, uh, the month and week, a lot of challenges we do have, then what are you gonna do? You're gonna be panicked? No, you are going to be praying. And you are going to not be worrying, but you are going to be worshiping the Lord. And then last one is one. First step before we start this semester is what? Finding, find out the purpose of God. God's new goals of this semester. New goals of our life. New goals of, you know, the, each day, each week, each month. And calling of God. Receive and then dedicate our semester and time and life for Jesus Christ. I would like to encourage you guys. First step. We are about to start this semester. And God has been here. And he's, he was, was, you know, he's been watching our attitude and confession. So 
Arabia, desert. Our life is desert. Every single moment is not easy. Survival mode we have. But once again, God is in control. God is with us. Provision from God. And Jehovah Shalom, we are going to experience this semester. And then let's make the strong, faithful first step in the name of Christ. In where? In the desert. And together, meaningful journey, semester, we're going to make it. And of this semester, and then we praise the Lord together. And then we become more stronger and faithful and mature Christians in the name of Christ this, together uh, this semester. Let's bow our heads. Jesus, we thank you so much for your blessing. We thank you so much for your opportunities that we could study and also come to this school, Christian community, and receive uh, your spirit, your knowledge. And the Lord also, we thank you for the great privilege that uh, we could, once again, select this uh, you know, great education opportunity, Lord. Lord, we are about to start first semester. Fall semester, and then we're going to make the first step. Be with us each step when we make it. And give us your encouragement. Give us your faith, confidence, and the enormous maybe our efforts and time, unless our just you know more um, a zeal and passion, because we have received the calling from you as a, your servant, as your child, as a, your also the messenger, you know, to the world. A lot of people are desperate for the hope of God, love of God. Please equip equip us. And send us to your people. And Lord, we want to lift up all teachers, our staff members. And then please give them your callings and also passion and knowledge and spirit that a lot of kids follow, respect, imitate what they said, what they did, what they sh demonstrate. But not only teaching, not only conveying their knowledge, but inspiration, transformation in the name of Christ in each class time. Please encourage them to share and give them more. Lord, our new students, probably they are worried, maybe on some, um, maybe anxious. Lord, uh, please encourage them to be comfortable, confident, and Lord, also more peaceful. The current students, they help them out and get adjust well and then returning students continually get motivated Lord also encourage them to not be lazy and then also you know, being more uh, diligent every day you know spend a lot of time on their time management everyday schedule not delay everything everything Lord Lord please every semester every each grade give them your maturity and also inspiration that get motivated to um, help others and help themselves and share the gospel, Lord. Thank you so much for this great, great privilege and opportunity, Lord. Thank you. First step, we lift up this message in the name of Christ, and we praise your name. I pray in Jesus' name, amen.